Hello, this is Anime Bad Guy with Red Roof Slime. In regards to January 8th today. <laughs> so, as I stated, my top 10 Nineroids of the year um, that were my collection, I'll be going over. There's conditions in regards to that. But before that, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if you like content, I do post uncut videos of contact regarding anime box openings my review of animes and movies my experience in regards to maybe gaming anything interested for the anime community as well as um, the community overall in regards to you know being those that like anime or weeb class if you want to say so Thank you for joining me. Um, so let's start with my top ten favorite Nineroids. Just know I am a box collector. I keep my Nineroids in my boxes, so there are certain rules in regards to covering the top ten Nineroids. I look at the Nineroid itself, the box, and that most of the Nineroids have to display the Nineroid itself and the content. There are some Nineroid boxes that don't have the Nineroid showing, so there. Even the box is really great. The design, I display those kind of like the World Champion Edition Pokemon Red that comes with um, Red and um, Blastoise Charizard, and then I didn't include the and I do have that, but I didn't include that as part of my top ten. So because the Nidoroids are not showing, it's just a big box with display. So first starting out number ten. We'll start with, and I'll explain, Gilgamesh from Fate Zero. I think Gilgamesh in regards to 410 is my top 10. I believe they designed the box just a little bit more differently in regards to making it all gold. I do like the fact that they have the 410, but if they made it all gold, the whole box gold, I'll probably be one of my top ten. Um, as you can see, it displays then um, the Nidoroid himself right here, clearly, and it shows all the weapons. So put them far, far as far as possible where you can still see the Nidoroid. Um They also put his name Gilgamesh in gold, and it, it does display his poses that he can be in. And I believe out of all the poses, they picked the most appropriate pose for the cover. Him holding his arms to summon his weapon, Celestial Special Move. So, number 10, 410 Gilgamesh. Letters of gold, gold in the side panel, gold in the top, back. But it was pure, like, shiny gold reflecting and gold in the inside here, or maybe even... Some kind of fake design in the back would be really wonderful, but as it stands, this is my number 10. Number 9, I put them together. Kaguya Sama. So, Kaguya and also Fuyoka Chika in regards to design. Uh, I do not have the the other individual, but because the designs are basically the same, Chica has mirroring yellow, and it gives the nice heartbeat monitor in the back, and up top, and the systematic coloring designs with the red and I mean black and yellow. I think it's different from most Ninoroi boxes. And I like the fact that they do this play up together, so I do like the fact that they, for Chica, show that they, she comes with parts where they can combine them together, so, because the box be the same, and design, <clears throat> and they go to the same series, number nine. 
Fiova Kagya and Fioka Chica. My number nine. So go on to number eight. This kill a kill. Ryu Makita. This is a re-release of her silver jacket version. One three one three one three thirty one. And the reasoning being this is number my eight figure is they captioned the idea of the series by putting the red fonts if you already watched the anime. The black and red works really well in contrast with the figure. And then systematic, I'm not sure if you can see them, but you can see gloss lines across the box. Across the, the numbers here. Even the back shows it, but he turned them red to be slices. So that's systematic, and then the back is red. I think they paid attention to that, making this a little bit higher quality than the chicas. So this is number for me, number nine. I mean, sorry, number seven. Number. No, that was number eight, sorry. So ten, nine, eight. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Ryu Saiba, City Hunter, number one zero eight four. So it has Ryu Saiba. Put a little um, little just yes, kind of drawing or on the on the plastic of a bullet which is great systematic city itself side city so I, I wish they would have had top of the cities here where they show this but they didn't do that and then the, here's the body bottom and systematic this is the back so they kept with the city hunter lingo which is good um the bullet adds to it it gives it just that little oomph more but this is my seventh my sixth hat this takes this this box style it takes it one more up and i'll show it soon after this but ryu saiba number seven number six is dr stone one two six two, Senkai Ishigami, and the reason why this is number ten, I'm mean, number number six. Keep on messing up. Number six is just like the City Hunter one. This is gray, so like remembering the stones. It has systematic equation, but they carry it over transition to his red, all the way into the back as well as the side. But the stone, they carry it all the way to the top and the bottom. So they take that concept of the City Hunter, which was before Dr. Stone, and they applied it better on the Dr. Stone one by carrying it over. I think if they did the same thing like that, um, City Hunter Ryu Sabo be my favorite character over Dr. Stone, would be nine, my number six. But because not, and the way they display the box and the, and the character and the transition of the colors, this is my number six Ninoroid of my collection. Moving on to my number fifth. It's 215. This is a Saber and, um, I forgot her name. I'm, I'm gonna butcher her name. Uh, Tusaka. You know, right together. I like the fact that they split it up. Where it has both 
character is red and blue. You see the character is very displayed really well. They also showed a dinner raid version of themselves. <clears throat> you know, I like that clear separation between them. Even the box, it seems like if you put two dinner rolls together. So, this is my number five best dinner roll I have. Moving on to fourth. This is 204. Oops, a little dust there. Mimma. This is this is a sad enemy and a happy enemy, but I think the box is wonderful and displays Mimma perfectly. My only problem is the older Ninoroids don't have the the Ninoroid face here. So I would if they put that or re release this box as a smaller one, if they put the face one, this probably would move up a little bit. But since it doesn't have it, um, I want you to display the box and review what the box they gave me. So I do like the Japanese writing here in the front. And they do display all the discerned poses of Mimma. And for me, I would probably, if I did do the one, out of all the ones, to cover it would probably be the one right here, the closed eyed one. Okay, moving on to my top three. Number three, Hollow. They took this box or the old style up and beyond a little bit more than most Nidoroids. The coloring is all colored. Um, in the front, it's not a white. It's almost like a off tan color. And then they put a lovely green design inside the, the glass cover of it. And they also, on the side, you can see they kind of capture that same elegancy of the anime holo uh, or the comic book manga. That same display of storytelling. And in the picture, you can still see Hala. So, out of the Nindoroids, um, out of my collection, for overall, this is number three. Number two, of course, is Card Captor Secura. Number 400. Um, wonderful display of the figure Nindoroid here blue sky inside the box itself carried over with cherry blossoms on the side with the blue sky so this figure they went beyond uh, I think it's a little bit bigger than most um, old style Ninoroids but they took a classic figure of this card capture secure and um, the way they displayed it is number two figure, I think, in regards to the boxing and anime figure. And I think the figure itself is is, is, is good as well um, outside the box. I do have an open one of, of her. So this is the, I had to buy a closed version. So this is my closed version. So I have the closed version. This is number two. And number one just recently released and it's card captor secura it is the always pinky promise together um Linaroid. so it comes like this display but to keep remember the rule has to be able to display it there is an open panel here and when you open it, it displays the Ninoroid. And now they give you the Ninoroid, they display the concept art that they got the concept to make the Ninoroid. So you get all this 
wonderful. I think they took time to think about it, how it opens, and how systematically you can go connect in here for the side panel. It just took it took took the concept of a Ninoroid in a box and how the box and the Ninoroid can be a piece of art and that they can provide you the original concept art. So it could be displayed like this or I me mean, now you'd open it, there's no sticker when they provide it. Easily puts right here. And it closes up and it holds. Should I buy another one <laughs> so I can open? But number one. So as promised, my top ten Ninoroids. Um Card Captain Circuit is number one for me. I do have a lot of Ninoroids. Over over almost four over four hundred. So hopefully when I reach a certain number of five thousand subscribers, I'll be glad to show you my collection. Um but for that please leave a like, comment, share what are your top ten in arrays that you have, be it open or closed. Do you agree with my Opinion in regards to where the top inbox Ninoroids. There's some Ninoroids I don't have so there might be Ninoroids out there that have better box artwork Than I have so um, be glad to share it. Be loved. I'll be glad to comment So thank you have a good day. I mean bad day and Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye